Familiar with the sport, rock climbing is a noble discipline, which can carry you to great heights. A good climber commands both mind and body. This philosophy was well understood by the famous Sherpa Jin Sing Long, who scaled Mount Everest using only his bare hands thanks to the ancestral techniques still taught today by the Buddhist monks from the order of Kishi So. And so, don't forget that only by challenging yourselves can you move mountains, and might I add, climb them. Belpoir. Get up there, see if you're up to the challenge. This will be the practical part of today's lesson. Go on. What's the matter? Pull up with your arms and push off with your legs. Have you got chewing gum for muscles or what? Exercise you get is clicking your computer mouse, you're not gonna conquer any peaks. Delarobia, show your buddy here how it's done. It's no big deal, Jeremy. Well, Sourpuss, having a hard time lifting your brain with those string bean arms? Uh. Uh, do you mind? Alita, I hate to talk with my mouth full. Would you mind taking over? Sissy, your head is so full of helium, you can float to the top. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes I wonder if you don't actually ask for it. Shut up, you dork! <laughs> what happened this morning? He had to scale the rock wall in gym. Oh, okay, enough said. I don't believe it. I can't be that bad in every single sport. Of course not. Actually, no, you really are lame in anything athletic. Anyway, who cares? You can't be a champion at everything. Come on, Einstein, stop sulking. Listen, if you want, we can try scaling the wall together. You think I have time for that monkey business? I've got too much work to do. That's for sure. You and I lead us spend all of your time shut up in the computer lab. What are you working on? We're ironing out the final kinks on the skid. You're still on that? I thought it was done. Ulrich, traveling through the network is not exactly like taking a stroll through Lyoko. And what's in the digital sea is still a complete mystery. For all we know, the skid could disintegrate during its first dive. Well, that's reassuring. Uh, you can eat that. Go ahead. Kill! You know, Jeremy, we're gonna have to uh, test it out one day if we want to take on Xana. I said quiet down. I know. Quiet, I said. <laughs> Mr. Delma said quiet down. That means now. <clears throat> Thank you, Jim. That's all right, Mr. Delmas. Always glad to help. Yes, of course. In case you've forgotten, let me remind you that today is FSRP Day, which stands for Fire, Safety, Risk, and Prevention. And so all afternoon classes have been canceled. Yeah! And so, as I was saying, children, your classes are canceled, but part of this free time will be devoted to a complete building evacuation exercise. This drill is designed to make absolutely certain that you're all familiar with our security procedures. Procedures that you will need to know by heart. It goes without saying that all access to the buildings will be prohibited during the exercise. Therefore, I had Yumi is right, you know. We'd better make a trial run in the skid just to see how it works. Yeah, but I don't know if we're ready yet. We've got to try it out before Xana gets even more powerful. No exceptions made. Thank you for your attention. Well, okay. We'll take advantage of the safety drill to get over to the computer lab. Way to go, Jeremy. Yeah, cool. But listen up, this is only a trial run to work out the launch procedures. Relax, we'll just dive in, test it, and come back. As we all know, Lyoko is made up of five sectors. These sectors are actually located in the center of some sort of giant hollow sphere. 
Imagine a kind of enormous virtual bubble suspended in a sort of liquid element. This liquid element is the World Information Network. And the digital sea? The digital sea is a part of the network. It's a kind of overflow that's accessible through this sort of floodgate. Xana goes through this floodgate to attack us on Lyoko, and the skid will use the very same gate to get us out. And once we're off Lyoko, what then? Well, I imagine you'll be in some kind of immense network of tunnels, but I don't have enough data to tell you exactly what you'll find. It'll be a surprise. That's fabulous. I love surprises. Well, what are we waiting for? Hang on, Odd. I haven't even begun explaining about configuring the parameters of the engines or the procedure for transferring virtual mass or, or... Don't bother. We'll work it out as we go along. Nothing like hands-on experience. But, Jeremy, don't worry. I'll be right there with them. Hmm. You there yet? I'll start up the process. Ladies first. Transfer, Ailita. Transfer, Yumi. Scanner, Ailita. Scanner, Yumi. Virtualization. It's okay, Jeremy. It's all quiet here. Virtualization. <sighs> Your elevator is waiting. transporter spot. Well, who's driving? I am, of course. You guys ready? Energize. Wow, it's working, Jeremy. Everything's in place according to plan. Opening interface. Cockpit to nav skids. Do you read me? Loud and clear, Ailita. Loud and clear, Ailita. Me too. This is cool. It's like being in a spaceship. Yeah, but be careful, Odd. This isn't Galactic Invaders. Yeah, yeah, you're just jealous because I wiped out three times as many aliens as you did last night. Because you cheated as usual. Okay, if you guys are done blabbering, maybe we can get on with the job. Standing by, Jeremy. Okay, now, get ready for liftoff. Releasing support. We have ignition powering vertical. Indicators are go. You guys are good for leaving Sector 5. Roger. Tunnel open in two seconds. Working, Jeremy. Our skid is working. Great. Ugh. Nice work, Einstein. Great job, Ailita. Good. The test was a success. Ailita, you all set to turn it around and go back into dry dock? What? No way. Hey, Einstein, I thought we were supposed to test this thing. Yeah, well, that's what we did. We just finished a dry run. A test in the digital sea. Otherwise, what's the point? They're right, Jeremy. If we just stay here in the sky on Lyoko, it isn't much of a trial run. Don't you want to see what the network looks like? <sighs> I feel like I'm going to regret this, but okay. Get ready to dive into the digital sea. Five minutes maximum. Yeah! Okay, then. 
shields activated. Sonar activated. Stabilizers online and checked out. Primary access clear. Laser generators online. Cockpit to nav skids. Ready for a dive? Ready. Ready. Anytime, princess. Here we go. Base lab to skid. Do you read me? Lab calling skid. Aelita, come in. Answer, please. Skid to base lab. Whew. Jeremy, we're in the digital sea. That's what I wanted to hear, Aelita. I nearly had a heart attack waiting, but I'm okay now. Holoweb system online. Well, what does the network look like? It's... it's beautiful. I'm sending you a visual, Jeremy. Wow! Yeah, you said it, Einstein. Rotation. Aelita, engage the turboprop and the auxiliary engines to break clear of Lyoko's gravity field, okay? Right, whatever you say. Turbo propeller engaged. Aelita. Roger, Jeremy. Turning around. Starboard propulsion engaged. Bearing 160. <laughs> What's going on around here? Aelita, I don't know why, but I just lost all trace of you on my radar. It might just be a transmission problem. Can you check it out? Jeremy, the navigation system doesn't respond. There's a bug in it. This can't be. Without a navigation system, you'll never find your way back to Lyoko. You'll be stuck, floating on the network until you use up all the skid's virtual power reserves. And then what? Once the virtual energy is exhausted, the skid will break up, and you'll all end up in the digital sea for good. Eternal virtualization. Like my father. Well, that's just great. By the way, Einstein, I hope you've got a solution, because I didn't bring my bathing suit. Yeah, well, to get you guys out of there, I have to debug the system. Except that there are several million codes to crack. By then, you'll all be in the drink. Unless... Unless what? I've got sub-programs that just might debug and repair the system. But I have to go get them from my room, and so I'll have to leave you guys on your own for just a moment. Oh, that's cool, Einstein. You couldn't have brought this stuff with you? Hey, I wasn't the one who insisted on doing this trial run odd, so just cool it if you don't mind. It won't help to get all worked up. Hurry and get your CD-ROM. We'll wait here. Okay, I'll be right back. Whatever you do, don't move from there. Very funny. Weird. It looks like an upside-down city. If you ask me, all these buildings are the network's interconnected databases. Okay, why don't we turn on some light? with all of the other kids in the schoolyard, huh? Darn it, fire safety day. I forgot all about it too, just my luck. Go on, hurry up. If the principal sees you here, he's gonna ring my bell. Yeah, but I need to get something from my room. It'll just take a second. No, no you don't. You were all warned this morning, and a warning in hand is worth two in the Bush League. Beat it. Uh. Did I ever tell you about when I fought forest fires? 
Hey, you think we'll live to see the light of day? Don't worry, Odd. Jeremy will find a way to fix it, I'm sure. By the way, has anyone noticed a change in the light? You're right, that's strange. Another teacher standing guard? What is this, Fort Knox? <sighs> well, there isn't any other way. Hey, you guys see that dark thing up there? Yes, I'll shut the lights to get a better view. Ailita, you think that's Lyoko? I don't know, but whatever it is, its gravity is pulling us towards it. This is not going to be a piece of cake. Okay, let's do it. Pusher Einstein's face when he figures out that we didn't need his help to come back in. Yeah, it's nice to be back on Lyoko. But it's not Lyoko. Huh? What? It's not Lyoko. Hang on now. Retro breaks. Take you to great heights? I guess I should monkey around more often. Ugly and uglier. They look like some sort of eel. I never met an eel I didn't like. Heads up. I'm breaking off. I've seen spiked eels, but spiked eels? Never. Trouble, Jeremy. Zan is attacking us with some kind of fish. Some kind of giant moray or conger eels. Have you started up the debugging program? Yes, but you're burning way too much power, and if this continues, you guys will be gone before the debugging's done. We have to buy some time. Okay, but how? Get those congers off your tail, and then launch the nav skids. What? We're gonna fight them one on one? Exactly, Odd. Just like in Galactic Invaders. Okay, bring them on. 
Are you all set? Nav skids away. Hey, these are more maneuverable than the overboards. Gangway! Now, be really careful. If you get hit, it means you'll be lost at sea. Gotcha, Einstein. Fire torpedoes. It's up to you, Yumi. They're tough customers. You said it. Yumi, behind you. Okay, come and get me. Now! Got it! Nice one, Yumi. You get better and better. Maybe, but not good enough. Careful. Don't forget that the Nav's kids' autonomy is limited. We'll do what we can, Jeremy, but these monsters are hard to hit. Well, don't try to work any miracles. Just keep them away from the skid. Right. Hey, fish freak. Looking for some more bait? Bugged. I'm sending you your coordinates. Get out of there and fast. Now skip in. Propulsion. <sighs> Trial runs over, everybody. Back to dry dock. I would never have thought that the World Information Network was a real live ocean. Yeah, with fish and everything. Big ones, too. To think that my father is in the network somewhere. Yeah, and so is William. That huge sphere we saw, what was that anyway? Another virtual world just like Lyoko, a replica that Xana must have created from the data that he stole from Ailita. I really wonder what he's thinking of doing with it. We'll go and explore it. Yeah! Right. But not tonight. The only thing that I feel like exploring is my bed. I'm wiped out. You're wiped out from sitting in your cushy chair? How do you think we should feel then? Odd. If I told you what I was doing while you were on the network, you'd never believe me. Well, let me take a wild guess, okay? You did a little rock scaling on the dormitory room. Huh? But how'd you do that? Huh? Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I said? You can be really hilarious when you want to be, even when you don't want to be. <laughs>